the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Mighty God. Where people of prayer, are you praying? Everywhere, inside, outside, following from every and any nation. Lift your voice and pray. Bless him in the spirit, build capacity in the spirit. Are you praying? Shikete barata ba shada ba kata shagede balere bos japranda gada ba kata prende gede ba gede ba kata ba kato ba shede ba kata skada balada ba kata prende gede ba leke toske prende gete shali barus ke barunda shalam ba ta kata prada gada kata ke pretos ke barato shalanda skabedi kita we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise pray in the spirit shi baranda skali barato shede balada kata. Selende prati kata balakato sopra dege de baladaba. Ile barato sale branda kata pratiski dia. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Before we sit, I, I just sense a very strong healing anointing here. And I just want to speak. Please help them. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus over every infirmity. There is grace that he's given us to minister to the sick in the name of jesus every blood condition hear the word of the lord shani katuskia the lord is healing blood conditions blood conditions please help them blood conditions i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Yeah. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. 
I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing a door stand before me that is closed. And I believe that this door represents a limitation that the devil has placed over someone's life. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I declare that every door that has refused to open at the instance of his word and in this atmosphere of worship, a fata be opened now. A fata be opened now. Be opened now. Be opened now. Please help them. Be opened now. He said, I have set before you an open door, Revelation chapter 3, and no man can shut it. Whoever is standing the way of your open doors, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, we clear them out of the way right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'd like us to, in a very special and a very powerful way, I'd like us to honor Minister Prosper. What an amazing time of worship. I love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. All the way from the airport straight to this place. It's been so. We've all been from the airport and you can imagine all that. This is the kind of sacrifice that the kingdom demands. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. I welcome every one of you. Welcome to Koinonia. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Those following online, the Lord bless you from any and every nation. We'll have a brief session tonight. I apologize. We had to make do with the provisions that is available with the aviation industry. And so we had a lot of constraints but thank God we are here and thank God our lives will not be the same in the name of Jesus someone will stand up by the anointing and run to the front just hold the person but let me have the person here Please bring them. We're about to go to the ministry of the word. But you see, this is a ministry of signs and wonders. It is a grace that God has given to bless and to edify the body. Taking the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace and no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything yeah. oh man my way i come back to the blue oh man my way she la ba ru ste la ban Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. These things are not, they are not 
a mere show or a, a demonstration of the power of a man of God. God's agenda is bigger than that. This is God visiting his people. You cannot leave your home and come here and then go back the same. It's not the God of the Bible who would leave you the same. I use this opportunity to prophesy upon someone. In the name of Jesus, even as God is visiting them, may a visitation come to you in your home, a visitation over your family, in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Let me say something, and I don't mean to be arrogant. Every word you see that comes will not fall to the ground. You see, before you receive a man, find out about him. What you see is an election of grace. God has raised us up for the body of Christ. One more time, I declare over your life, in the name of Jesus, for as long as you have showed up here, by the spirit of grace, everything that must not move, everything that has refused to move and clear out of the way, I clear it now. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the word shortly. It will just be a short charge tonight. I'm seeing chains. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing chains over the feet of people and the Lord is saying to release them. Please sit down. Right now, I'm seeing the number 21. Where are they? By the Spirit of God. Everyone who is under any kind of captivity, I bring you the word of the Lord by the rod of a higher priesthood. Right now, may the power of God locate them. Whether you are inside, outside, online, every chain that will not let your destiny go, I declare it broken now. I declare every chain that will not let you go. Bring them out. I command that chain broken now. I command that chain broken now. Lift your voice and begin to pray that every chain, this is Mount Zion. And the Bible says upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The Bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He said he nailed it to his cross. Everything that will not let you go. This is koinonia. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Lift up your head. O ye gates, 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 and be ye lifted everlasting doors in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please sit down. We are going to the word shortly, but the Lord is revealing. Now, please don't just come out at random. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You are in ministry, but with what I am seeing in the realm of the spirit. There is a limitation around your ministry. You are a sincere man. You love God with all your heart. You are wearing white. Where is that gentleman? Don't, please don't come out at random. I mean, you are a ministry. Where are you coming from? Come. Where are you coming from? Huh? Kaduna. Kaduna. Kaduna, yes, sir. Hold on. You are in, you've been in ministry. Yes, sir. Be careful. Don't match them. What's your name? My name is Oche. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I hope you do ministry with integrity. Yes, sir. Listen, we are uh, very serious people. The days of doing ministry with, with gimmicks and games and unseriousness, those days are over. God is in the business of finding men who are sincere. Praise the name of the Lord. You are in ministry, sir. You are in ministry. Listen to me. Two things. Don't be embarrassed. Number one, you need to calm down. You have a lot of energy that needs to be managed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have offended so many people and you need wisdom. But the Lord will help you. Lift your hands. May grace come on you. Right now, you, this gentleman. Oche, take that grace now. 
a new dimension of grace you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ sir are you in ministry come sir your own ministry where is that sir in the u.s hold on please where in the u.s sir. in the u.s yes sir. you are coming from the u.s yes, sir. you will never forget this this sacrifice look at me i want to release something on you we may not have the level of architectural prowess in the u.s we may not have the level of intellectual soundness but there is something we have a grace from heaven a grace from heaven look at me please don't don't please make sure i'm not saying if you if you want the call of god upon your life please this way place of order please if you misbehave we'll send you back are we together so please make sure that you just heed to the call but i want to pray for you where in u.s new jersey new jersey new jersey i want to pray for you there are two graces that will come on you one is the teaching grace the second is the grace for signs and wonders you believe that Amen. i stretch my hands to you right now in the name of jesus carry this grace you will go to us with it you will walk signs you will walk wonders even by the spirit of god receive that grace you will never be the same the miracle of open eyes i release upon you fire upon your hands go and rot signs wonders in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on one of you here i'll pray for everybody but there's one of you among these gentlemen standing in the name of jesus i declare i just saw it in a vision that a strong anointing is coming on one of you and then when that happens i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god fresh fire upon all of you in the name of jesus grace to do ministry with integrity grace to do ministry with power grace to do ministry with signs and wonders i take up the limitation from your ministries go and excel in the name of jesus connected to the right associations connected to people of integrity teaching the word with sincerity may the lord confirm his word upon your lips with signs following in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you please go back i'm seeing a woman you have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is four years we're getting to the word but let me just speak over that person four years this is four years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb if if the woman is in the overflow we may not have the time to have her come because our time is already gone but the lord is telling me this woman is on the balcony who's that i can't see is there someone like that come your time has come there is power in the name of jesus there are miracles in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain hallelujah listen to me i want you to believe look at me we are not herbalists we submit to the authority of jesus who is the christ of god i'm going to pray for everyone we don't call them out just to waste time listen i teach you this so that you do not think we're just playing games it's a ministry of signs and wonders and many times god would allow us to minister to people like this but we're people of order and we're people of excellence but we're also a people of compassion who will want to see jesus reach out to his people i hope you understand what we're doing my dear look at me shout jesus as loud as you can it's over forever go and carry your child in the name of jesus christ I give a change for me. let me pray for you i hope you are all married Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? 
listen to me please i want you to believe in god jesus is alive he really is alive i stretch my hands upon all of you father by your mercy let the yoke of barrenness of all sorts let it answer to the name of jesus right now according to the time of life we correct everything that needs to be corrected and we decree and declare you return with your children and every force of darkness stopping your fruitfulness we come against it in the name of Jesus we come against it in the name of Jesus let it be over once and for all in the name of Jesus the Lord bless you please return back to your seat rejoicing and for all of you who are here under the anointing I command those spirits you let them go now out of their lives never to return out of their destinies never to return in the name of jesus i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the christ it goes now and forever everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen prophesy to yourself unto me. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. In the name of Jesus. Let's get to the word. Even if we have just 20, 30 minutes tonight and we wrap up. You have a court case there is a court case i'm seeing a legal a court case there's someone you have i don't know what what led to it a court case something that has to do with land who is that person just just stay where you are you don't have to land um you, you may not need to come out just stand where you are because our time is gone you believe in the power of the holy spirit the mercy of God is real and he is able to overturn to overturn until Jesus is glorified I decree and declare upon everyone who is trusting God for a miracle as far as justice is concerned it would take the hand of God moving over your life and I declare may that mighty hand move over you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is am i wasting your time ah, i want to rebuke something i'm seeing i'm seeing obituary and the lord is asking me to roll that reproach but sit down sit down sit down sit down in the name of jesus even though the person i'm talking about is outside but i'm using it as a point of contact to pray for anyone appointed unto death in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory I rebuke and curse the spirit of death I curse the spirit of death from your life from your habitation I curse the spirit of death in the name of Jesus The Lord bless you. Please be seated in the name of Jesus. John chapter 17.
we gather every time for four or five basic reasons let me just run them quickly every time we gather the convergence of the saints is for this purpose and to this end number one every time we gather before God we gather for encounters an encounter is an experience that furnishes the reality of a person a principle to your spirit encounters are important they create convictions without an encounter you cannot have conviction I know whom I believe the Bible says and I am persuaded persuaded encounters number two transformation through enlightenment the second reason why we gather is to give our destinies a chance to give our minds and our spirits an opportunity for transformation through the word of God the Bible says we all with faces unveiled beholding him as in a mirror he says we are changed from one dimension of glory to the other even as by the Spirit of God and the word of God is his instrument of transformation. We are transformed by the power of the word. It says, do not be conformed to this age. Is the word aeon. Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2. It says, I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies unto God. It says, and do not be conformed to this world. Is the Greek word aeon. The thinking pattern, the ideology that comes with this system. It says, but be ye transformed like a fly moves from egg lava pupa and adult be transformed by the renewing of your mind that your mind being renewed will grant you the grace to prove what is that good that acceptable and that perfect will of god so when we gather like this expect the exegesis of scripture discipleship for the maturity and the victory of the saints is called doctrine hallelujah I commend you to God he says and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture which is able to make you wise even unto salvation are we still together number three every time we gather expect a manifestation of the love and the power of Jesus Christ through miracles signs and wonders you must expect this that every time we gather it is to see and to experience the miracles the signs the wonders that are revelations not just of the might of the man of God alone but the love of Jesus when miracles happen, they are letters from Jesus to his creation, to his saints, saying, I love you and I still care. And also a revelation of the might of God. Number four, every time we gather, it is an opportunity for impartation. Impartation is powerful. Impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Our, the results that we command in this kingdom are predicated upon the kind, the level and the dimension of grace that is at work in us. The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, grace is in dimensions. There is the grace for speed. There is the grace for favor. There is the grace for breakthrough. Are we together now? Just because you have a measure or a dimension of grace, does not mean you have everything God is able to make all grace so there are distributions listen carefully whilst the Word of God is coming it does not have to be a conscious impartation the Bible says while Peter yet spake these things the Holy Ghost fell on all not some all day that heard him provided you can hear your spirit is ignited and you carry dimensions of graces that now begin to control new possibilities in your life listen to me if your life does not capture certain dimensions of results the honest explanation 
is that the grace for it is not there it's as simple and as honest as that hallelujah and so we must open up our hearts to receive in addition to that which he has given us we open up our hearts we open up our spirits to receive these superior dimensions of graces I long to see you he said that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established are we together and then number five every time we gather like this it is an opportunity for fellowship and to experience the blessing of the Lord Psalm 133 says how good and pleasant it is it says when brethren dwell together in unity no matter how powerful your secret place is with God there are certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities that only happen under a corporate atmosphere hallelujah while they prayed together and fasted the Holy Ghost spoke to them and said separate me Paul and Barnabas he spoke to them not to him the Bible says how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity it likens it to the oil that comes from the head of Aaron the priest down to his bed down to his cat the Bible says there the Lord hath commanded the blessing so every time you come for koinonia or any spiritual meeting for that matter let your spirit be open for these five things encounters transformation that comes through the exegesis of the word spiritual illumination number three a manifestation of the power of god to meet needs to provide supernatural solutions number four impartations because every time god grants a grace to jacob it is because he intends for it to reach israel it is not god's idea that he's that his graces reside with only one person so when he calls Jacob is because he has Israel in mind are we together tonight I want to teach on knowing God we're building we spoke about doctrine the last time we met and we said how that doctrines are a body of truth that are responsible for the maturing of the saints haven't experienced and seen signs and wonders i have told you and i will say it again that signs and wonders do not establish the saints listen to me no matter how anointed no matter how powerful no matter the charismatism around the signs and the wonders that you see and experience it does create conviction number two they are they are tokens of the father's love number three it announces what god is doing within a territory then it becomes a consolation to the christian experience of the saints but it was not allocated for the maturity of the saints only the word of god communicated taught accurately sustains the ability to mature the saints are we together so we must submit to the teaching of the word we must submit to doctrine we will continue to experience miracles signs and wonders but our eyes must be first on jesus and then the truth of his word because heaven and earth will pass away the disciples saw miracles but jesus disappeared for only 72 hours and they denied him they ran away so miracles are not enough to establish people they saw miracles remember when he wanted to wash peter's feet peter said no way later on peter said wash my feet bath me you see, all those emotional vacillations were proof of immaturity as soon as judas came and betrayed jesus the disciples thought jesus would use his invincibility to just defeat those people when he submitted to death they ran away they didn't just run away they ran disappointed john 21 peter said i can't do two zero i go a fishing the other disciples said we go with you let's go back to what we were doing before this karma came to deceive us they toiled all night and there was no catch then they saw jesus he needed their attention again so he used the miracle little children have you any catch and peter said no and he said cast your net to the right side and when he casted his net watch this now 
he was not able to drag the bible says for the multitude of fish are we together then the goodness of god convicted him immediately he knew he was a sinner he was naked he wore clothes and said depart from me i am a sinner and then he called him and when they sat down it's amazing that when peter came he met jesus already roasting fish that's what your bible said where he got it from is a mystery that he will have to tell us it's in your bible and then now that he got his attention he said sit down simon bar jonah lovest thou me more than this you came because of the manifestation of the miraculous but sit down because i'm going to give you an assignment to feed my sheep and also to feed my lamb the son of jonah do you love me more than miracles do you love me enough to be mentored enough to mentor others miracles are powerful but we cannot dwell just in the realm of the miraculous we have to trust god for the exegesis of truth and tonight i want us to discuss very briefly the subject of knowing god look at me your confidence in this kingdom is predicated not just upon the reality of god but your knowledge of the holy john 17 please we'll read from verse 1 to 3 let's go john 17 this is jesus this is the real lord's prayer jesus is praying now theologically speaking what we call the lord's prayer yeah even though it's the lord's prayer but it was a lecture it was a mentorship session teaching the disciples the protocol of prayer that works are we together this is jesus praying now the bible says these words spake jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee verse 2 it says as thou has given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him what is eternal life verse 3 please read with me ready one to read and this is life eternal that they may know thee the only true god and jesus whom thou hast sent watch this that means the journey of eternal life does not stop just with a confession your act of confessing the lordship of jesus according to romans 10 from verse 8 down to 10 only initiates you into the process that administers eternal life it says eternal life is a journey it's not just a one-off experience this is eternal life jesus is teaching the rabbi he says that they may know you please give it to us verse 3 this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus whom thou hast sent so if you do not know god and you do not know jesus there is a dimension of eternal life that has not been ministered to you the bible puts it this way john chapter 10 and verse 10 it says the thief cometh not that means you have no business seeing him around except for this to steal to kill and to destroy then jesus says but i am come that ye may have life that's a level but that you don't stop there you move from the realm of life to a dimension of abundant life you can have life but you can have abundant life abundant life is based on knowledge the knowledge of the holy are we together it is important that the saints know the lord many religions now respectfully speaking in fact most religions do not have a provision where you know the deity or the personality that is the object of worship and adoration in fact intimacy and relationship is not required in many religions it's just an observance of rituals and then certain benefits that are derived from it the faith life is the only dimension of life that requires that all you receive become a derivative of a relationship when you go to a herbalist god forbid god forbid but when you go to a herbalist for instance he's not going to ask you do you know my name are you interested do you like me that, no 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 that's not why you are there you may never even know his name why are you here i'm here because i want to win some political position or an election or something for instance and he says okay this is what you will need 
bring A, B, C and you bring it and it says go, it's done. You may not even remember where the road to his shrine is again because every other life outside of the faith life does not demand relationship but God is very intentional about relationship. Is someone learning something? So the kind of Christianity that is all about receiving, just receiving breakthroughs, just receiving liftings. Now they are powerful but you will never be able to enjoy the fullness of the life of God until you draw nigh to him to a level of a deeper relationship that is more than things, more than cars, more than houses, more than miracles, more than political positions, more than business breakthroughs. I don't downplay these things but if that is the subject and the object of your pursuit, you will eventually be frustrated in your Christian experience. When God truly wants to bless a man, he gives him himself. That is the real gift God gives those he loves. He does not give you his hand. He does not give you his power. He gives you him. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's my prayer, Lord. Lord, give me you. More than cars, more than reputation. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I will tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I will tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. One more time. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I will tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. Listen down. We live in a world where every other thing is important except God. Every other thing is important. Whether you are born again or not, once you are rich, people believe you have everything. Whether you are born again and serious with God or not, once you have a privileged political position. Whether you are born again or not, we downplay Jesus. When you meet a young man and you ask him, so what have you achieved in life? He says, well, not much. I don't have a job yet. Um, I've not been able to build my house, but one thing I have is a relationship. Society will laugh at you and say, what a fool. You are wasting your time and wasting your years. But then, if that gentleman is a disorganized person spiritually but has a house has a car they say wow you are a fine young man you are doing well it's just that you just need to be serious look at how we have downplayed spiritual thing if all i have is jesus i got something more than i will tell it to myself jesus is more than gold listen to me the real proof of love is not things. The real proof of love is giving yourself. So when God gives you himself, he gave you everything. When you give him offering, you have not given him everything. When you give him tithe, you have not given him everything. If you truly love him, what you give is not what you have. What you give is you my best lord is everything i am my best lord i give all i have to you listen 
years ago I sat down one day and I was overwhelmed at the faithfulness of God in my life I said look what you've done to me look what you've made out of my life and so this song came you made me great you made me special you made me great I give all I have to you you made me great you made me great you made me special you made me special you made me great I give all I have to you my best Lord is everything I have my best Lord I give all I have to you my best Lord is everything I have my best Lord I give all I have to you if you truly love him more than your money more than his support for a man of God and a church more than giving gifts the real gift you can give the Lord in honor and in gratitude for giving himself is to give yourself this is why this ministry is called koinonia it's a platform of passionate lovers of God people who are looking for more than his hand people who are looking for more than his wisdom you know if I don't get to the word I can stay here because what I'm giving you is a piece of my secret place sincerely let me tell you when I spend time with God I hardly ask him for things and this is not because of the faithfulness of God over my life no my concern is him can you really have God and lack anything I was told of a story of a man who had very foolish sons and he was a very wealthy man he was about to die and he said now these my sons and he had a servant and he said all right you people have been foolish all through my lifetime with you I'm about to die I will give you an opportunity to pick one of my assets anyone just name one but only one and he had a lot he said whatever else is left my servant will carry it and the boys were angry he said how could daddy do this you have estates you have empires and you're giving us just one to pick one and one of the sons looked at the servant and said I choose the servant For the first time the father saw wisdom before going to his grave if I have to choose one and the rest is given to the servant let that one I choose be the servant so when God puts a car a political position watch this lifting anointing emoji anointing revelation I'm not being sarcastic fame I know what many of us will choose people have rejected me I need fame you quickly pick fame and then he puts himself and he watches as many Christians come to pick other things the Sun will no more give you sunlight by day the moon will no more give you moonlight by night Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength, and your sight. Listen, if you ever have the opportunity to choose Him, keep that car, keep that fame, keep that ministry, keep that preaching, keep everything, and hold on to Him like Jacob held on to Him. He said i will not let you go i made a mistake in chapter 28 i was punished for more than 20 years in the house of leban because i chose other things aside you someone this is a message for you right now to pray you are saying i'm busy that's what you are doing to fast i am busy 
to seek his face you say you know there's this new appointment i just had and i need to travel around the world um there are dignitaries coming from everywhere and he's looking at you and saying do you not know my value i'm not wasting your time believe me i'm showing you a secret of secrets more than gifts more than houses that you choose him and what men pray for become your gift they will bring it to you i made up my mind that he will become the object of my pursuit not ministry no i will give up koinonia and close down koinonia in abuja 1000 times to preserve my relationship with him i will cancel any ministration without thinking twice if it ever interrupts his presence you love me today because what of what he has made out of my life i will be foolish to leave him do you leave what works God is speaking to someone. You need to return back. This is not what I even want to talk about. Oh. But God is speaking to someone. The reason why things have not moved in your life is because you focused on many things. You have been taught by society that Jesus Christ is a nuisance and that the secret place does not carry destiny value. So every time you stay with God, you feel cheated. While the rest go ahead of you, you feel cheated. You feel foolish for giving God your time and your attention. My life is a testament of what can happen to a man when you give God time. God is speaking to someone. I believe that this is by the Spirit. I've not even begun to talk about If this is where we stop, that's it. God is calling on people return to the secret place return to the place where i made you i found you as nothing and i helped you now you are allowing distraction distraction listen to me dear people of god we live in a celebrity world where everyone wants to be a celebrity and don't get me wrong god wants to lift you you know when you watch people come in, you just admire them and you hope to be like them. And some of you can't wait for the service to finish so that you say, give me a double portion and all these things that people do. Listen to me. Sit down and take God seriously. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love you, Jesus. I love, I love. I love your presence. Yeah. can give you fake power but he cannot give you presence no you can fake power but you cannot fake a real relationship listen to me in this kingdom our honor is derived from our relationship our the power that we communicate the influence the grace is predicated upon our relationship wouldn't trade you don't sing listen to what i'm singing i wouldn't trade you for riches unto and i really mean it you are truly you are my everything 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 Lord, you are everything to me, everything, everything.
everything Lord you are everything, everything to me you're my treasure my priority who can compare to you truly great is the measure of your royalty of morning star you truly Some of you are crying. I wanted to talk about something else. But you see how the Holy Spirit leads us. Please just focus on what God is saying. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. Where it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the When Jacob dismissed his wives, when Jacob dismissed his cattle, when he was alone, then a man came. There is something about the jealousy of God. He will not loiter around when there are many other things distracting you. So he will step back to honor your decision to ignore him until life forces you to need him. God is speaking to you. You may be a man of God. I want crowd. I want people to call my name. I want everyone to listen to my teachings. You may be sincere, but while you are doing all that drama, heaven is watching you. And God is saying, is this all that you want? Is this all that I mean to you? To be a celebrity? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All I want is to win an election. Let me become a famous person. All I want is to join the billionaire list. There is something about a heart that pants after God. You know how you are going to do it, but I leave you with the God of your salvation. Tell him I'm here again, oh God, sincerely. Finally, finally, I hear you. I hear your call. I hear your call. Yeshua Mashiach Yeshua Mashiach Yeshua Mashiach Cry unto God. Hear me, I'm not wasting your time. This is church. We're not faking it here. Sincerely from our hearts. This is why many do not see the power and the glory of God. There's such distraction. Pursuit for things. I'm not against that. But it must be everything. Talk to the Lord. You came to church. You have my everything. 
You have my everything You have my everything You have my everything Take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Take all of me Take all of me Anoint my everything Use my everything I release my everything You have my everything Say, take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Take all of me All of me, Lord I give my everything. Yeah. You have my everything. Say, take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all use all of me, all of me, all of me Lord. Yeah. They call of me, they call of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Elanda Silla Koshiata Brande Gidiadaba. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. Forever. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. There's a part of the song that I love. Listen, it says, Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. That's the language of the matured in the spirit. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Loved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.